video, I'd like to say a huge thank you to Paperlike for sponsoring this video. I've always found using a textured screen protector a must when it came to drawing on the iPad. Personally, the iPad screen was just too slippery for me. I've been using Paperlike for a while now and I really enjoy how it feels. It makes drawing feel more natural and gives me more control on my brush strokes. It also sounds really nice. I've had this screen protector on since, I believe, last year June or July, so it's been a while now and it's probably due for a change, but honestly, I think I might keep it on for a little bit longer and yeah, it's really, really nice and if you guys would like to try it out for yourselves, I'll link everything in the description box and again, thank you to Paperlike. So, it's been a while since I last uploaded to YouTube, um, I think three months, and for that I do apologize, I didn't plan for that to happen, but I, I'm not even sure what happened. I don't know, basically like, things kind of got a bit overwhelming, and then on top of that, I had a, like, I had a really bad like sleeping schedule um, and yeah so I wasn't sleeping as much so that meant that I was tired all the time and I had like less motivation to um, edit videos or film them. Um, I had like two videos filmed in the past two months I think and the files are just kind of sitting <laughs> On my laptop and I should try and get back to attempting to edit that because I am feeling much better now and yeah I also got a new camera to film with which was one of the reasons that also prevented me from filming my phone ran out of space so I could no longer film on it so yeah I got a new camera and it was it is like quite tricky for me to transition to that I'm so used to my phone so having like an actual camera in my hand is very like uh, overwhelming I don't know it seems so complicated and like <laughs> I don't know um, and I've been watching like so many YouTube videos trying to understand how to work it, but I'm slowly getting there. So in the video, you might see moments where it is like kind of, you might see moments where the exposure kind of goes a bit crazy or I don't know. I tried my best to correct it, but yeah i don't know i'm still figuring out and then also my camera with my like filming setup like everything was kind of shaky so there are moments in here that are a bit shaky but i hope that's not too distracting and you can still see what i'm doing clearly
let the video play out. Um, you can always follow me on Instagram. Uh, if there's any place I'm most likely to be active on, it's going to be there. Um, also Twitter, I guess. And yeah, I hope that I don't disappear again for another long time. Uh, so yeah, enjoy the rest of the video and bye.